This week's Week 12 Mountain West Conference Showdown is a rivalry game as the 24th ranked Wyoming Cowboys travel to Fort Collins to take on the Colorado State Rams in the Border War, the battle for the bronze boot. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings after Week 11. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. This week's Top 25 Rankings The Heisman Trophy Watch through Week 11. The Cowboys' individual stats through Week 11.
a current look at the Cowboys recruiting board. And now, our Week 12 Mountain West Conference rivalry game, as the 24th ranked 8 1 Cowboys come into Fort Collins to take on the 2 7 Colorado State Rams in the Border War, the battle for the bronze boot. Welcome to Fort Collins, Colorado, home to the Colorado State Rams, settled at just over 5,000 feet, and we have a game that will live up to the altitude. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport. A rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Wyoming Cowboys. Taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Colorado State Rams. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Boys will put total leather to crank us up. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Colorado State's offense takes the field. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you've got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. Third and 10, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. To the air, it's Fowler Nicolosi. He hurls one deep down the left side. Oh, he can't hang on to the football. A big play sitting right there for the taking, and they can't get it done early in this one. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He's got great speed. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The Cowboys' offense has the ball for the first time. This game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously, we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. An excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right up the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get in the space and make the big game. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Paula. Yeah, it's just winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. Makes the grab and knock down, and he's got it at the 25-yard line. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Powers forward, but stopped after a pickup of two to the 24. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. It's on target and complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. 
This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. From the gun, wants to pass. Got him downfield. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. We've seen really nice balance here on this drive. Quarterback's three for three. He's picking this defense apart. They've also run the ball well, too, and here they are down close to the goal line. This defense has no idea what's coming next. And the Cowboys will try to punch it in on first and goal. Trying to punch it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Cowboys! I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the balance. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position. And then he carries it in for the TD. You got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drop. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7 0. That last drive covered 52 yards on their way to the score, and they capped it off with a one yard plunge. On the run from inside his own five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. We will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time. On the move, it's Morrill. Strong run to get it out to the 21-yard line. They pick up a six. And the Rams headed quickly to the line. Lost a fire on second down. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. Throws to the wideout. Makes a connection. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. Oh, look out. Zone. Touchdown, Colorado State! And to have a rushing touchdown of that type of yardage, you've got to be able to make something miss. It's one thing to get into the second level, but can you make that last defender miss? And you saw it on that play. Once he was in the clear, with his speed, he was gone. Lining up for the PAT. Bangs it through for an extra point. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off on the ground, a 67-yard touchdown run. He thought about bringing that out. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Caught over the middle. It's Kane. Reaches into the bag of moves and finds his way up to the 31. 
And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Third down coming up after that completion. To the air, it's Svoboda. Quick strike complete. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. The Cowboys have it with a first and ten. The give to the back. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players would be jacked out of their mind. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. It's caught downfield. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. And the Cowboys are marching down the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run, not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. He looks that one in nicely. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. About to snap it for the eighth time on this drive, and it's a third down and four. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. Unloads to the wideout. On target over the middle. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages. It tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Got three on first down at second and seven. He's looking to throw. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wyoming. And how about the protection up front? The big fellas doing their job. He just sits in the pocket, sits in the pocket. Wide receivers break off their routes. He finds the open guy for the big play. Nice job of protecting your quarterback. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Kennesaw State has the lead right now, but this crowd is restless. They just haven't been able to separate themselves yet today. They're up by 10 over Sam Houston. 
Trying to start the drive with a pass. Got his man. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. Back to pass, it's Fowler Nicolosi. Finds his tight end. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Out of the shotgun on third down. He can't make the grab. It's incomplete, but there is a flag, and I believe this is going to be pass interference. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught it. From the gun, running back on the move. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. The Rams come to the line with a new set of downs. To the air on first down. Fires to the tight end. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. And the Rams want to move quickly. Running back goes in motion. Touch pass on the run. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. All the way down at the 33-yard line, it's first and 10. Caught in the backfield, it's Horton. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Went to the running game on first down, now here they come again. Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him and he tackled that receiver on the screen. Wrestled down at the 26. It's a gain of four. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. He's going to try to punch one through from 45 yards away. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. From inside the 10, here he comes. And he's able to pick his way. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. 
That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Right back to it. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. Got the back over the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Guys at the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game. And I got to be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on it. Fullback's got it. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Don't complicate things. Give it to the big fellow. By the way, the fullback who blocks all the time, does all the dirty work, hand it to him, let him plow ahead, Palmer, and get that first down. Are we in a time warp? Like, what year is this? Is this 1995? We're handing off the fullbacks again. That's a play that is basically extinct now in college football, but I love it because it caught the defense off guard, able to get a nice one there. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. Nothing to do with the football, and he just throws it away. It'll be third down. Offense in a bunch formation. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Still looking. And the defense is there. He got away for a second, but not for long as they knock him down for a loss. The Cowboys send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. It'll be a touchback. Colorado State takes over the Ram. Offense returns to the field. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Colorado State. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Now we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage. Defenses are going to have to get something figured out. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. You want to see quick strike ability? It was epitomized there. Two plays, 80 yards, touchdown on the board. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff to stop him at the 16. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out.
That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. Yeah, and just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Lining up from the 34 on first down. They'll ride the hot hand. Stopped at the 44, but he got 10 on the play. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Hey, get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. And the Cowboys getting set on first and ten. He leaves it with his back. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm now. They're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. Throws to the wideout. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic. Fortunate to get it back. Yeah, nice coverage, and you'd like to snag that interception, but there's always a reason why these thoroughbred athletes play defense. It's usually because of their lack of hands, like you just saw. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Fires to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. He's going to pass. Let's it fly. And he's going to take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. And I just love the execution by this offense. And late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Kennesaw State has the lead right now, but this crowd is restless. They just haven't been able to separate themselves yet today. They're up by 13 over Sam Houston. For now, it's back to you, fellas. But, of course, if anything changes, we'll see it right here. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Looking to pass. It's Fowler Nicolosi. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. The Rams will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. That's a perfect example of whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time, wound up with a touchdown. Fires toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. This defense is going to have to make some adjustments here at halftime because they have been taken advantage of deep down the field in the passing game. They've already given up two TD passes. That was almost number three, and we're only in the first half. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. He makes a catch. 
Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail, and that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. The give out of the gun. Running with power. And what moves this guy has. The jukes, the wiggles, the squirts just went right past him and picked up the first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. It's complete on the right side. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but I like trying to get this guy the ball in space. And the ball is... Intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. Guys, we'll have another peek at this Rams offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the middle. Complete downfield. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado State! This quarterback really does a nice job seeing the field and reading coverage. And when you go empty and you spread the defense out, it's easier to see what the defense is doing. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Finds just enough. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Leaves it with the running back. Puts him in the spin cycle. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. One more snap coming before halftime. They'll throw it on first down. Looking down the middle. Pass is incomplete, and half comes to a close on that play. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half.
Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one thanks to two of the best receiving four in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out.
Browns will kick it off to start the second half. And they thought about it. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They put points on the board in the first half, but still find themselves in a hole. And if I'm this offense, man, I'm not trying to change anything. I scored a bunch of points. I've been successful. Jesse, the defense has to catch up here in the second half. Yeah, they do. They're going to have to start making plays. But you can only control what you can control. So for the offense, go out, do your job, trusting that your defense is going to make a play. Motion trying to get the defense to show its hand. He lobs one high down the left side. And the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. This attack so lethal with that big play capability. Now first and 10 from the 29. Power football with the run. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you, so you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Looking to throw at Svoboda. Fires to the big fella. That's a really good tackle there, giving up some size and still making the play. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. He's got 93 yards on the ground, and he just continues to turn in productive performance after productive performance. That's how you lead the nation in rushing. The Cowboys are on the move. With the run on first and goal. Knocked down after a gain of one, they'll mark it at the six. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls. Touchdown, Wyoming! They take the lead with the six. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback, wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and they have a 28-24 lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Georgia has the lead right now, but they have not been able to separate themselves just yet between the hedges of Sanford Stadium. They're up by 10 over Tennessee. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. It. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Makes the grab down the middle. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. The Rams are in the hurry up. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And it's incomplete on third down. And the Rams will punt it away on fourth down. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Fair catch called for and taken.
Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great... And he didn't squeeze it. It's loose. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. You want to talk about hearts and throats when that ball was on the ground? The offense recovered its own fumble. He's got an open man. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Man, I'm the quarterback, and I drop back in four verts. What can I see on my safety? Is it single high? If it's single high, I know exactly where I'm going with the football. Look the safety off, zip it in there. Either way, I know I got four guys streaking right down the field. Leaves it with the back. Nice move there. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. There's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. And the Cowboys have it with a first and ten. They're getting this guy lathered up. Only a short gain on that run. Defense played it well. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. To give to the big fullback. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I think you run that play on second down, knowing it's going to make third downs. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available. High success rate. Right the Cowboys looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Tackle was made after the first down. This is a top 25 offense in college football, and I like what they do. They can run the football on third downs when they need to. They show you right there. They've got some balance to them. They really know who they are. They have a good identity, and that's why they've been so successful this season. Got enough space, and he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good. They're up 35 to 24. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. We will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time. They'll start this drive with a pass. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw incomplete. After misfiring, it's second down. From the gun, the ground game. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. The Rams come to the line in the hurry up. To the air, it's Fowler Nicolosi. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. And here comes the punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Not going to risk a return. Offense getting set for first down.
Takes a handoff. It's Scott. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll give it to the back. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. The give to the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Yeah, and, and listen, offensively, you run the RPOs. You just want positive yards, make the right read. Read the guy if he wants to drop back a little bit. Hand it off, get some positive yards, go on to the next play. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Softened him up with a run and now to throw. Oh, he makes the catch. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Nice job, big fella. You make a catch, you're a viable target for your quarterback and gain a couple of yards. Picked up some yardage on that completion, but still a third down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Uncorks it. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And the Cowboys will send off the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Horton. Really a nice game before being run out of bounds. Colorado State takes over the Ram. Offense returns to the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. And here comes the offense on second down. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. And the shot to the middle of the field falls to the turf. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. Now it's fourth down. And the Rams decide to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Signals for the fair catch. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. 
Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. They'll try the run. He goes down at the 47 after a five-yard pickup. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Drag down at the 43, but it's a pickup of 10 on that one. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe, second and seven. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football, so he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? They'll go to the ground. On the move is the 30. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead. So you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. Brought down after a pickup of two to the 19. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. The give to the tailback. No, he just flat ran over him. Pushing ahead, a top run picks up four. It's down at the 15. Let it bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, the short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Defense with a chance to put a stop to this drive. Ninth snap coming at third and four. Back to pass. It's Svoboda. Going for six. And it's intercepted. Maybe breathing a little life into this team. Listen, the enemy is the clock, right? You're down by two scores. You've got to make something happen. Really, really good job by the defense forcing the turnover, getting the ball back to your offense. Now you got to go score, and i got to get one more stop. Guys, we'll have another peek at this Rams offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Precision, execution, and timing to pick up the first down on the out route. 
I think you're spot on. Th those out routes, man, it's got to be about timing. You got to throw that football before he breaks. Nice job seeing it. Short yard situation, throwing the ball on the money so the receiver can get upfield and get the first down. The aerial assault continues. He's got his man. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. The Rams will hustle to the line. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. He's looking to throw. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And they can't hook up going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. To the air, it's Fowler Nicolosi. He's got it. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and 10. He wants to throw. He's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Rams! That big score makes the end of this game very interesting. No doubt the offense got what they need. More work to do, but you had to get this part accomplished first. Obvious thinking here. Get the two-point conversion now, and all you'll need is a field goal to tie. Wide receiver now comes in motion. A jet sweep pass. And he'll be brought down. Well, every coordinator has a couple of two-point plays in his back pocket. They dialed one up there. They didn't get it. Let's see how that affects the outcome of this one. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little... Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. Hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. But for this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here and lead your offense. And move on. Like, we needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drive going. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. Gets it out quickly. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. The Cowboys will punt this one away. On the return, it's Horton yardage he could on the punt return we will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time they'll crank up this drive with the pass got his man he's run out of bounds but not before turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down looking to move it through the air pulls it in and he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28 and, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. And the Rams in the hurry up. Looking for space. It's moral. They make the stop, but you can't give up four yards a chunk on the ground down in this area of the field. It's at the 18. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. 
It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. Off the RPO, throw to the right, looking for the first. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. He's looking to throw it. He's got the tight end. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. He makes a grab. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. And a touchdown here would not only give them the lead, but in the fourth quarter, that ramp. Touchdown, Colorado State. They move on top here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Up by one, they're going to try to get the deuce here and make it a field goal lead. Scanning the field, it's Fowler Nicolosi. Pass is incomplete, no good on the two-point conversion. They had tried to stretch his lead out to a field goal, but they're still up by one. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job to make the stop at the 19. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. This is everything you could hope for in a rivalry game like this. Close game, waning moments, history waiting to be made, guys. And it's moments like this why you come and play for these two schools, right? To play in a game like this, in a rivalry like this, in a situation, David, game on the line late, who's going to take it? And you know when you make this play, you're in. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And a tremendous return on the play before he's brought down. Man, you talk about all the excitement, emotion. You're about to go take the lead in this ball game, and then you fumble and turn the football over. Now you need help. Now I need my defense to go out and somehow get me this football back after squandering that opportunity. And as they come to the line, they have the lead, and they have the clock on their side, first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. On second and goal, he gets another chance. And he got nothing, and the line of scrimmage is still the five-yard line. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. Winning the turnover battle is so important, and you got to make these turnovers convert into points. They get the fumble recovery. Yeah, they didn't get a touchdown, but they're still able to get a field goal and put three points up on the board. With that field goal, now it takes a touchdown to beat them. So you want to pin them back and then let the defense have a little room to work with. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. 
wants to throw on first down. He's going up top here late in the game. And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets him 30-plus. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Now facing a third and long. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. And he's got it inside the 20. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. There is nothing greater than a rivalry game unless you lose it. And in that case, there is nothing more miserable. I agree, Reese. And that's why rivalry games are so great, because you take the stats, and you take the rankings, and you take the records, and you throw it all out the window. There's always tremendous effort and passion when we see these rivalry games. We certainly saw it today. And David, for this losing team, this one's going to sting for a while. It does, but it's so strange, because I always feel the same way. I'm like, there's no chance that they have a chance to upset them. But then you go, it's a rivalry game. The, 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 the vitriol, the hate, it's already there. And so it means so much in sports. Who's motivated for these games? So you do get up. It does become a good game, even when it's not a good game on paper. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 13 Mountain West Conference matchup has the Boise State Broncos coming in the Laramie to take on the Cowboys.